Hi, uh, Chuck Etheridge here in Dr. Eland. Uh, just a quick uh, primer in how to uh, look for jobs for your resume. Um, okay, so there are a bunch of different ways to look for jobs. I'm going to just show you some of the basic ones. Uh, one of the big ones is Monster, MonsterJobs.com. So let's just so we type maybe the job that we want to do technical writer. That's fine. Or we might do a general category writer. So we got technical writer, content writer, creative writer, medical writer. So I'll just click on that and then a location. Let's do Austin, uh, Texas. So technical writer, content writer jobs in Austin, Texas. 694 jobs. Training content writer. So anyway, you get the idea. You, you type the kind of job that you want to do. And then you look at the, um, you type in the location you want to be in. So content writer. So what I would do is I would read this job carefully. I would determine whether or not I could do this job. I actually think I could do this job, but I have no interest in leaving Tammy CC. But I read it carefully. I see what it is. Content writer um, to develop work for clients. Hands-on, gather content, instructional lecture, hands-on labs. Learning lessons, uh, improve and edit learning materials. So I would need, need you know, uh, demonstrate that I could create lessons for adults. Um, I can edit materials, partner with product management team, support and administrate our enterprise LMS, which is a learning management uh, system or learning management software. So I would have to uh, make sure I knew what all these advertise or all these abbreviations meant, or look them up if I didn't. Um, my point being is. I find a job I'm interested in, uh, I read it carefully, and I highlight the keywords of the word, what they're looking for. These are the responsibilities. Uh, so I want to make sure I use something about e-learning lessons. I want to make sure I use the phrase. Uh, improve and edit materials. Um, partner with product management. Uh, assuming I can do all these things, I don't claim I, I can do things I can't. Um, but um, identify the skills that they need note the things that experience that you have had or the classes that you've had that have taught you to do those things and make sure I highlight those in the job. So um, that's just a basic um, way to do it. Monsters one. They obviously give you lots of hits. A lot lots of these are good jobs. Sometimes there's just so much is overwhelming. But Monsters is a good place to begin looking. Uh, another one is uh, but you know uh, say if I did um, something like content writer, the same search in Corpus search, and um, notice most of these uh, aren't there to do uh, the communications delivery manager. See what that is. Manager in Galveston, well, it's not even in Corpus. So. Um, that doesn't mean there are not content writer jobs here in Corpus Christi. That just means Monster won't help me find those jobs. Um, so, one other way to look for jobs. Uh, the government can be a great source for jobs as well. So you might mention the job that you want to do. Um, I'll do technical writer again just to... Uh, and I'll just search see what jobs are available in the United States. There are 10 jobs... And uh, I look through these and any of these places I want to live or work. China Lake, California, Phoenix, Arizona, Peterson Air Force, Colorado. Writer, editor, temp. A one-year temp for the Treasury. I have no idea that I would want to do this, but that looks kind of interesting. Uh, Full-time. Well, no place I want to live, but I could write for the IRS. At sixty-two thousand dollars a year, which doesn't actually sound like a bad temporary job, if I wanted to do something different for a year, and again, I read these responsibilities and criteria, and I come up with that as well. Let's just try a different career completely. I did technical ride. Let's try uh, uh, law enforcement. Law enforcement officer. Hey, there's one, and there are a thousand jobs. So maybe I would want to say Texas. And there are 94 jobs, federal jobs available in 
in Texas, which is interesting stuff as well. Um, but you know that content writer job that I mentioned? Well, there are no jobs in Corpus. It's not true. It's that you've got to try multiple different sources as well. So one of the things I have done, and no, I'm not looking for the job, but I'm continually helping students to um, find jobs. So I registered with Kimball Group, which is uh, a job search agency. It tries to match people with companies, and companies pay groups like Kimball um, money to identify good candidates. So I, I've registered as a technical writer, uh, content writer, and other things with Kimball Group. So um, I got in my email uh, a job to be a sports assistant for uh, the Caller Times, another one to be a technical writer uh, for a local company, another one to be a grant writer, because uh, grant writing is something I did as well. And um, I won't hunt through all my email, but Yesterday, I got uh, an email that came to me via Kimball uh, for a content writer job. So there, there are, I know for a fact, five technical writer jobs open in Corpus right now, none of which came up on Monster or USA Jobs. So the idea is you need to use multiple sources. This is if you're actually trying to get a job, I realize, for the purpose of the assignment. You can work with Monster and USA just fine. But you need to register with multiple job sources. Um, uh, as well. So the, then when I click, click at some of these, I click on the sports assistant, and this is actually uh, through a company called Nuvico. So, uh, or, uh, and so, uh, or, and then there's job case that came up as a result with that. If I click on the IT technical writer, uh, this, go, this comes through ZipRecruiter. So you might want to register with Nuvico, you might want to register with ZipRecruiter. Uh, you might want to register with, uh, okay, th this again, Way Up, which uh, works on internships and um, uh, and nonprofits as well. So, uh, my point being is if you're actually looking for a job, you want to look at Monster, you want to look at USA Jobs, you want to register with Kimball, but you also might want to register with ZipRecruiter. Some people do LinkedIn. You might do Nuvico, Way Up, because... Um, unlike the old days where everybody advertised in the Caller Times, um, people register with different services to find different people. Uh, and so you really have to look at some of the big job bo uh, boards and then be registered with several job services so you, so you identify jobs. Because again, if you're, you're just you're somebody who didn't know anything about technical writing, which I just use as an example, so, oh, there's no tech writing jobs in Corpus. Well, there are five tech writing jobs open today in Corpus. Uh, and that that's a lot, because if you think about one job every week, it's a lot of jobs for uh, uh, tech writing jobs for a city this size. So um, that's just sort of basically how you begin to find some uh, job ads to apply for and then eventually the jobs to look for. Also, our career services are terrific. Um, I mean, they really are. I mean, this isn't just me saying this. I, I, I speak as a parent. Um, my middle son, great student, smart, uh, but unsure about how to navigate moving from um, living in our home to getting a resume, getting a cover letter together, identifying an internship, searching for a job. And I say this um, jokingly, but it's what happened. Uh, our career services got my son off our couch into an internship and then into a professional job in Houston, paying good, good money, by the way, uh, in a month. Really good career services people over there. Anyway, uh, this has just been, again, a really, really quick look on how to identify jobs uh, that you can use to tailor your resume and your cover letter together. Because remember, and I'll say this over and over and over again, you don't have to send the same resume and the same cover letter to all the different employers you tailor things so it's clear that you are qualified for their job. They don't want to hear that you're qualified for all jobs. They want to hear that they're qualified for your job. So good luck, thanks, and um, look forward to seeing more of your writing. Thank you.